Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be upcycling this mirror frame that I've had hanging around for ages to try and resell. As you can see, it's just a pretty boring little wooden frame. It's got quite a lot of marks and scratches on it. So first of all, I'm just sanding it down, just giving it a light sand, just to get rid of it. It has like a top layer of like a varnishy stuff. So I'm just getting that off and getting rid of the little marks and scratches on it. Sanding it down as well makes the paint stick to it better, I guess. And even though we don't need a perfect finish for the paint, because we're going to be sticking stuff on the top of it, then the paint is still going to show through. And you don't want it to be like cracking off and stuff, so yeah. So as you can see, there's some little scratches on there, and just giving it a really light sand can just bring it up really nicely. So now I'm just giving it a wipe over with a damp cloth. I'm just using just some normal paint, I think it's just normal acrylic type paint. Because remember this isn't going to be like the top layer, this is just what's going to be shown underneath and shown through the um, paper that we're going to be using so it doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact I don't want it to be perfect actually because I want it to have that kind of shabby chic, vintagey, like oldie style look to it. So I actually want it to be, um, I want it to show like brush strokes and stuff. So that's it, all painted and finished. And when it's dry, um, you can get your napkins. These are the napkins that I'll be using. I've got lots of different kinds. This is a little print with these little birds on. It's a really nice print. I think I got these off eBay, really cheap. There's loads of designs to choose from. You can see they have four prints on them, and they have four layers. And you have to pull off the. You want just want the top layer, the like thinnest top layer, just with the pattern on. It can be really tricky to pull it apart because it's so delicate. See, I was lucky here because I just got the top layer. Sometimes you get um, get like down the middle, so you have two, and you have to try and peel it again. It gets really annoying because the paper's like really fine, and it can rip really easy. So that's the just the top layer, just with the pattern on. And then you want to kind of choose what parts you want to be shown on it. This got them little birds on it so I wanted to make sure they were going to be there. And you're going to be able to see them so I just lined it up, found where I wanted it to be. I'm going to use this brush just to paint over the top of it with this Mod Podge stuff. Now this stuff you can um, get it in a matte or a gloss finish. This one's a gloss finish. Um, but for this, for this kind of thing, it doesn't really make a difference. And then I kind—I just went all the way around and glued it all on all the way around. I lost the footage somehow. I did video the whole thing, and I was going to speed it up, but it disappeared. So this was um, this was it all glued on. This is it just drying. You just want to leave it to dry, and then I used this. De deco patch I think it's called um, gloss it's a finishing gloss that I just like to put over the top of any project just so that nothing just so that it's all flattened down it gives it a really nice finish it makes it safe it makes it so it's not gonna fall apart there's no bits anywhere this is it's still wet as you can see but it just gives it that really nice finish and protects, protects it as well. So this is the whole finished thing. It's dry. I put a mirror in it. 
I really really love how it came out you can see all the birds are all the right way up thank god because I did do all the birds separately you can see the paint through it and that's like the exact look that I wanted where you can see the brush strokes so I'm, I'm really pleased with how it turned out but that's the before and after picture but thank you for watching everyone if you liked it please leave me a comment and let me know and I'll be doing some more of these videos soon